Hey, welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to make some really cute fake cherries that will be perfect to use on all of your fake bakes so you don't have to buy them anymore. If you're new to the channel, my name is Cassie. Welcome. So we're going to start out with some clay. Um, I'm going to use Model Light. You can use Model Magic or any foam clay that you like. So I'm just going to grab a little ball there and just work it around for a second, get it conditioned. And then I'm going to roll this into a little log so that I can get a few cherries in the same size. And then I'm just going to mark it off where I will tear it apart. Okay, so to make the cherry, you're just going to roll this uh, one of the little pieces into a ball and then um, you'll just press one side of it with your finger to make like an indentation. And then I'm going to use this dotting tool. If you don't have one of these, you can use a pen or a pencil to do this. Um, I'm just going to make a hole right in the center there so that we can put the stem in later. And then I'm just going to refine the shape and make sure it looks like a cherry. Okay, so then you would just do that with as many as you want. So to make the coloring, um, I there are a couple of ways that you can do this. So I'm going to use just regular acrylic paint. This is the matte acrylic paint. Um, so I'm going to use this Anita's True Red. Um, Apple Barrel has one called, I think, Candy Apple. Um, that's a similar color that will work great for this. And then I'm going to put a little bit of black in there to make the cherry color. Now, if you have glossy red paint, you could also use that instead. Um, and even if you add a little dot of matte black to it, it'll still turn out glossy. So this is one I did with um, gloss paint. Now, I'm not sure why it got some bubbles in it, but um, you can see it's a pretty good, pretty good looking cherry. And then this is the, um, the way that I'm going to do it show you here today. So just so you have a couple of options. So I'm going to put some red into a little cup and then to that amount of red, I'm going to add just one little drop of black and then I'm going to add some Mod Podge. So the Mod Podge, you'll want gloss Mod Podge and this is going to give it that glossy look. And by adding it to the paint, then you don't have to do an extra coat with the Mod Podge to get the shiny layer on it. It'll just turn out shiny. So I'm going to add quite a bit of Mod Podge to this because um, otherwise it won't turn out shiny. You have to add plenty. Now it's not going to look like the right color right now because the Mod Podge kind of makes it look pinky while it's wet, but it will dry to the right color. Okay, so I'm going to take my cherry and I'm going to put this side that has the hole into the paint. And I'm going to just make sure that side gets coated. And then I'm going to flip it over and then stick my toothpick right into that hole that we made for the stem. And then that way I can twirl it around and get the rest of the cherry coated. And then I have a, a piece of styrofoam here that I'll just then stick my toothpick into so that it can dry just like that. And it may end up dripping a little bit and that's okay. Um, it'll just get all that excess off there. Now to make the stem, I'm going to take a really teeny little piece of clay. This might actually be too much. We'll see. And we're going to just roll it out. Now I'm going to keep one end of it 
thicker because that is going to be the end where like the cherry, um, you know, if it's attached to another cherry or whatever, the, the end of the stem is usually got that thicker part on it. So I'm going to leave that like that. And then just roll it out really thin because cherry stems are really thin. And then I'm going to take my finger and just like kind of flatten that wider end a little bit so that it looks realistic. So I'm going to put my paint right onto my wax paper because It'll be easier with these little stems than to put it in a cup. This is Lime lime Tree by Apple Barrel is the green that I'm using. And I'm also using Melted Chocolate from Apple Barrel. So I'm going to put a couple of drips of brown into this green. And then just mix it around here. It's going to probably look like a gross color. Um... On here but it actually looks pretty realistic on the stem I'm gonna add some Mod Podge to this mixture as well because the stems are also a little bit shiny so I want this to look as realistic as possible and again you could just use gloss paint if you have that so you'll want to let the stems that you make dry before you do this um, it'll make it a lot easier it's hard to deal with that when it's wet. So I'm just gonna, this is a stem I had already dried. Um, so I'm just putting it into the paint and then just kind of dabbing it around, making sure that I have it fully coated. And then I'm just going to take a toothpick and just kind of scoot it over so that it's not sitting in paint because if it is, then it's going to be stuck to the wax paper with a bunch of paint on it. Okay, so um, this is a stem that's already dried and we're going to go ahead and assemble this. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue and you want to watch how much you put because if you put too much, it's going to show. So just put a little dot there and then I'm going to take my stem and push it down into that hole that we made. And then just take, if you have a dotting tool or a pen or a pencil, whatever you're using and just kind of like press it down just to uh, make sure it's nice and secure. Now these are, you know, you won't want to hold this by the stem the stems aren't going to be that um, strong another thing i was thinking that you could use as a stem for these would be um, green floral wire which i think would work great because it's nice and thin um, but anyway here is the finished cherry thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this quick little tutorial and these will help you out with your fake bakes. Be sure to check out my fake bake playlist that's right here on the screen. And I will see you in the next video.